So, using the distance and midpoint formulas, we're going to start with midpoint because that one's a little bit simpler of a formula for us to look at. Um, so, if we have two points, we call them x sub 1, y sub 1, just to separate it from the other point, x sub 2, y sub 2. doesn't matter which one you label as which, um, just so that your subscripts match. Both of these should be 1, both of these should be 2. Now, if you think about a midpoint, it's right in the middle. If you think about being in the middle, it's kind of like the average. Okay, That's the way I always remember the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is like the average. So when you find the average of something, you add them all together and you divide by how many things you have. So for the midpoint, we are going to add our x values together and we're going to divide by 2 because we have two x values. We're going to add our y values together and we're going to divide by 2 because we have two y values. Okay, so let's just start with a simple example. Problem number one there on your worksheet. Okay, find the midpoint of the line segment with the given endpoints. So, uh, just for the sake of getting in the habit of labeling these things for later, we're going to label this as x sub 1, y sub 1. This is x sub 2, y sub 2. So, our midpoint would be, we add the x's together and divide by 2. Negative 10 plus 4 divided by 2. Negative 1 plus negative 7 divided by 2. You do it in your calculator. If you do it in your calculator, if you do it all at one time, you must put parentheses around the addition part. Negative 10 plus 4 has to go in parentheses and divided by 2 if you want to do it all at one time. If you want to add the two numbers, press enter, then divide by 2, you're good. Uh, but if you want to do it all at one time, you need to put parentheses around it. Um, so then negative 1 plus negative 7 divided by 2 is negative 4. So our midpoint here is the point negative 3, negative 4. If we plotted the point negative 10, negative 1, and 4, negative 7, negative 3, negative 4 would be directly in between those two points. So just to kind of uh, get us thinking uh, about the application here. I said we're getting ready to talk about the equation of a circle. So these two points could be the endpoints of our diameter. And so the midpoint would be the center of our circle. So be thinking about it in, in, in those terms. Um, these two points being the endpoints of the diameter and the midpoint being the center of the circle. So let's put a little tweak on this. Let's look at number seven that says, given the midpoint and one of the endpoints, find the other endpoint. Okay, so it's not the exact same thing that we just did, where we have the two endpoints, we add them together, divide by two. We're going to have to, to manipulate this just a little bit, okay? So let's set it up. We know that our midpoint is negative 5, 2, okay? And to find the midpoint, we add our x values and divide by 2. So one of our x values is 9. We don't know the other one, so I'm just going to leave it as x. Divide by 2. Uh, one of our y values is 4. I don't know the other one, so I'm going to leave it as y, and I'm going to divide by 2. So essentially what I have here are two equations, okay? The x matches with the x coordinate, so 9 plus x over 2 is equal to negative 5, okay? Just set the x parts equal to each other, the first part of each point. And to solve this, we got to get rid of that dividing by 2, so we multiply both sides by 2. So we've got 9 plus x is equal to negative 10, and then we subtract 9, so we get negative 19 for our x. We do the same thing for our y. 4 plus y over 2 is equal to 2. So multiply 2 on both sides. 4 plus y is equal to 4. 
subtract 4 from both sides, so our y is equal to 0. Our other endpoint is negative 19, 0. So our endpoint is somewhere on the x-axis, at negative 19. That one was a little bit more involved, so let's do another one like that. Number eight. Okay, same setup. Our midpoint is seven, negative six. Our endpoint is negative nine, negative nine. So negative nine plus x over two, negative nine plus y over two. Okay, probably the biggest thing that you've got to remember on these problems is that um, you pick the right one that you're adding to. Okay, the endpoint are the values that we're adding to. Don't do 7 plus x and negative 6 plus y. Okay? You've got to make sure that you do the right one there. Okay, so we've got negative 9 plus x over 2 is equal to 7. Multiply both sides by 2. Negative 9 plus x is equal to 14. Add 9 to both sides. So our x coordinate is 23. And let's find our y. Negative 9 plus y over 2 is equal to negative 6. Multiply both sides by 2. Negative 9 plus y is equal to negative 12. Add 9 to both sides. y is equal to negative 3. So our other endpoint is 23, negative 3. Okay, so the biggest thing here, make sure uh, you're careful that you don't mix up your x's and y's. Make sure that you're not you're careful that you don't mix up the midpoints and the endpoints. <clears throat> find the midpoint, or yeah, to find the midpoint, you add your two x values of the endpoints together, divide by two. You add your two y values of your endpoints together, you divide by two. Every single time. Add, divide by two. Add, divide by two. Pretty simple. Just try to be careful with the numbers. Okay?